Well, good afternoon once again. Here we go. This is going to be the uh, video that I promised my daytime students at Humber College uh, about creating the soft tar filter effect. The soft tar filter is uh, a filter that we used to use back in the film days and uh, I guess more specifically when we're shooting with our Hasselblad film cameras to create a nice soft focus effect and everybody's been trying to create something along these lines and uh, I think up until recently the majority of the the soft focusing effects and things that we've seen online and on the in the real world here have actually miserably failed so uh, I'm hoping that I can actually try to turn that around a little bit all right what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create an action of this. We have a couple of variations that I want to work with, so I'm going to start off by creating an action of what we're going to do, and I'm going to name this one Softar Basic, and then we'll carry on from there. So I'm just going to come over to here. I'm going to create this new guy there, and uh, so. Give it a blue color. Thank you very much. Click record. Great. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to make a duplicate of my background layer. So, in order to do that, the easiest way to do is Command or Control J to give me that. I'm also going to name this. All right. And it's going to be S O F T A N I P Soft R Effect. Beautiful. And the first step of creating this thing is to go in the totally opposite direction of where we want to go. I know it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes this is what we need to do. So we're going to go under filter and we're going to come down to other and we're going to choose high pass. And as I did in class, I chose a value of nine. All right. We can choose other values if we want, but I have to start somewhere. So I'm going to choose this and I'm just going to click O. Okay, to get that. Now, with all filters that generate a high amount or vast or large amount of 50% gray stuff in our images, we need to change the blend mode to something that will neutralize that 50% gray, and that's generally the uh, uh, overlay high pass, uh, overlay soft light or hard light, and I'm going to choose soft light in this effect. Now, at this point, you're going to be looking at this and you're going to say, wow, that looks like things are sharper. And if we turn the eyeball of this guy on and off, you'll say, absolutely, indeed, this stuff is sharper. And what we want to do is we want to have the opposite effect of this. All right? So in other words, we want to enhance our image to the same degree that we have sharpened it, but we want to blur that. So in other words, we want to reverse this all right so I've sharpened it X amount whatever that value is but what I want to do is I want to blur it by that amount and this is how we're going to go about doing it we need to reverse this or invert it so I'm going to go down to the adjustment layer icon click on that icon click and hold I should say and scroll down and choose the invert now at first glance, what's going on here is we are actually inverting, right? What or this layer is inverting what it visually sees through the soft effect all the way down to the background. And what we need to do is we need to contain this invert to only the soft effect, soft tar effect, or that high pass blur thing, or whatever it is you want to call it. All right. In order to maintain that this is just going to be on that one, we need to clip it. So I'm going to come down here and choose a clipping group. And there we go. So now what we've done is we have inverted the visual of sharpening to blurring, if that makes any sense. Okay. Now that we've done that, and of course, we're going to want to be able to see the before and after on and off and all that kind of stuff. So what I would suggest that we do in this action is hold down the shift key and click on the soft tar effect layer and then go to the options menu in the upper right hand corner and choose new group from layers. And I really think that this should say new group from selected layers, but that's besides the point. 
inside here, I'm just going to call it SOFTAF, soft R E F F E C T, soft R effect. And um, there you go. I think that's about all I really need to do. Now, in order for us to see the before and the after, all I have to do is turn on and off the eyeball of the folder set. So there we go. That's our image before. That's our image after. If you would like to see this a little bit closer up, we can just do Command-1 to zoom in. And I can turn this on and off. Whoops. <laughs> Both of them went off. There you go. On and off. There we go. That is with the soft focus effect. And that's without. All right. Now, what some people would like to do is possibly see a little bit less of this in the eyes right and all that kind of stuff and well we can actually approach this in the next video okay